Dear students, welcome back to a new mathematics session. In the previous two sessions, we have discussed question number 1 to 14 from exercise 6.3 from the chapter Applications of Derivatives. In today's session, we shall discuss the remaining problems from the same exercise. Let's move on to the topic. Let's begin with question number 14. The last sub-question that is question number 5. Find the equations of the tangent and the normal to the given curves at the indicated points. Here the points are x is equal to cos t and y is equal to sin d and t is equal to pi by 4. Here we are asked to find out the equation of the tangent and the normal. Here let's uh, go through the algorithm first. First of all we are asked to find out the equation of the tangent means equation of a straight line. So equation of the straight line means we will use the point slope form. Point slope form, form means y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. There First of all, you have to go with the point x1 and y1 we have to calculate. x1 and y1 we will be getting by substituting t is equal to pi by 4 in x and y. After getting x and y, what we have to do is we have to go for finding the slope of the tangent. For slope, finding the slope of the tangent, first step is finding the uh, derivative dy by dx. But here dy by dx directly we cannot get. So here x in terms of t, y in terms of t is there. So dx by dt, dy by dt will calculate. Then dy by dx by dividing dy by dt and dx by dt we will get. Then dy by dx at t is equal to pi by 4. That will be the slope of the tangent. Then by using that slope of the tangent and the point, we will be using y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 formula and we will find out the slope of the tangent. And again, sorry, equation of the tangent. And again, by using the slope of the tangent, we will be calculating the slope of the normal. Then the procedure is same again, equation for me. So here, two concepts we are using. One is slope of the tangent into slope of the normal is minus 1. The product of the slope of the tangent and normal, since they are perpendicular to each other, the product is minus 1. Then the point slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This is the equation of the straight line in point slope form. These two concepts we are going to use. First of all, at t is equal to pi by 4. This is a point given. Let's find out x1 and y1 means x and y. So x is equal to cos replace t and put to pi by 4. Cos pi by 4. That means cos 45 that is 1 by root 2. Again, y is given to us sin pi by 4. Replace t and put to pi by 4. Sin pi by 4. Again, sin pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2. Then, we have got the point as 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2. At t is equal to pi by 4, the point is this one. So the in point slope form, the points are ready. X1 and Y1 is ready. Then we need M. For that, what you have to do is first to take X is equal to cos T. Then differentiate with respect to T. Because here X is in terms of T is there. DY by DX directly we cannot calculate. So DX by DT will be getting. Differentiating with respect to T. Derivative cos T is minus sin T. Then next Y value will take. Y is equal to sin T. Here also differentiate with respect to T we will be getting dy by dt that is derivative of sin t is cos t. We need actually dy by dx for finding the slope of the tangent. dy by dx is equal to as I mentioned before dy by dt divided by dx by dt. When we divide cos t divided by minus sin t. dy by dt is cos t and dx by dt is minus sin t. Cos t by minus sin t is cot t. So there is a minus sign so minus cot t will become that is dy by dx. Still we didn't get the slope of the tangent. How do we find the slope of the tangent? dy by dx at the particular point t is equal to pi by 4. That means we will be getting the slope of the tangent at that particular point. Means dy by dx at t is equal to pi by 4 is equal to minus cot t replace and put to pi by 4. Minus cot pi by 4. Cot pi by 4 value is 1. So we will be getting the answer as minus 1 since there is a minus sign here. Now, Slope of the tangent at 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2, the particular point is minus 1. Now the point is there, slope also is there. We can calculate slope of the normal. Slope of the normal means from here, slope of the normal if you want to calculate, bring slope of the tangent to the right side. It comes as minus 1 divided by slope of the tangent. Slope of the tangent is here minus 1. So minus 1 divided by minus 1 that is equal to 1. So both the slopes we have got. Let's find out the equation. Equation of tangent at 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2 and having slope tangent slope is minus 1 in point slope form that is y minus y1 y1 is 1 by root 2 is equal to m 
m is minus 1 into x minus x1. x1 is 1 by root 2. Then normal calculation only. That means y minus 1 by root 2 is equal to just remove the bracket. Minus 1 into x is minus x. Minus into minus plus 1 by root 2. Then x here there is minus x is there just to bring to the left side. So minus x becomes plus x. So x here there is plus y is there x plus y is equal to constants we can bring one side right side there is 1 by root 2 and this minus 1 by root 2 when it comes to the right side it comes as plus 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 that is x plus y is equal to since there is a common denominator root 2 we can take numerator simply we can add 1 plus 1 that is 2 by root 2 actually 2 we can write it as root 2 into root 2 if you want uh, we will show you the calculation that is 2 we can write it as root 2 into root 2 that means uh, x plus y is equal to that root 2 into root 2 uh, just let me show you the calculation that is better so root 2 into root 2 2 we have split it divided by there is denominator there is one more root 2 so when we cancel one root 2 from numerator and denominator we will be having a balance of uh, root 2 so x plus y is equal to root 2 that is the equation of the tangent next we will be going for equation of normal equation of the normal same point only 1 by root 2 comma 1 by root 2 but the slope is different slope of the normal is 1 same formula we will be using y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so y minus y1 y1 is 1 by root 2 my is equal to slope is 1 that is m is 1 into x minus x1 x1 is 1 by root 2 here then as before the normal calculation y minus 1 by root 2 is equal to 1 into x is x 1 into minus 1 by root 2 is minus 1 by root 2. Bring the like terms on side. So y is equal to here what I have done is minus 1 by root 2 bring to the right side. That means x minus 1 by root 2 is there on the right side. This minus 1 by root 2 going means plus 1 by root 2. That is y is equal to minus 1 by root 2 and plus 1 by root 2. Both are opposite signs. So that we can just cancel and we will be getting the answer as y is equal to x. So this is the equation. we shall discuss question number 15 the question is find the equation of the tangent line to the curve y is equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 which is parallel to the line 2x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0 let's go through the question first we are asked to find out the equation of the tangent equation of the tangent you have to calculate where the tangent is the tangent is on this curve y is equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 and that tangent is parallel to this line so let's make a rough plan algorithm we have to make it then we can proceed to the solution first of all for forming an equation of a tangent it means equation of a straight line we are using point slope form that means y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 there we need x1 y1 passing through point we need and the slope also we need so first of all when you calculate the derivative of this uh, curve we will get the tangent of the curve then here when you make it in y is equal to mx plus c form this is equation of a straight line it is in the form y is equal to mx plus c when you compare it with y is equal to mx plus c we will be getting the slope of this line since the tangent and this line are parallel their slopes will be equal means here we calculate the dy by dx that dy by dx will be equal to here what we get as slope so from there we will be getting the value of x that x if you substitute here you will be getting the value of y so x and y if you get you have got the point and the slope already we have got from here since the tangent and these two are parallel the slopes are equal the same slope you can use that way we can substitute it into the equation y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 we can calculate the equation so this is the plan so let's start y is equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 that is the equation of the curve first of all according to our plan we have to differentiate because we need dy by dx that is the slope of the tangent so differentiate with respect to x dy by dx is derivative of x square derivative of x square is 2x minus 2 into derivative of x derivative of x is 1 so minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 derivative of 7 constant it is 0 no need to write so dy by dx we have got consider the line 2x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0 this one as i said before you have to make it in the form y is equal to mx plus c means y we have to keep it one side here there is a minus y bring to the right side it comes as plus y then left side there is 2x and 9 it is there so y is equal to mx plus c this is in the form y is equal to mx plus c what is m m is the slope c is y intercept 
but we need here m only m means the coefficient of x so here the coefficient of x is 2 so the slope is 2 since these two lines are parallel their slopes are equal so slope of the tangent means we have got dy by dx and the slope of this line we have got 2 so we can equate both dy by dx is equal to 2 what is dy by dx we have 2x minus 2 that we can substitute so 2x minus 2 is equal to 2 from these two we can take 2 common that is 2 into x minus 1 is equal to 2 then when we calculate x minus when we take this 2 to the right side it will be coming 2 by 2 1 so x minus 1 is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2 will be coming then we have got one point x we have got one coordinate we have got then we have to go for finding y for finding y we have to substitute this one into the given curve so y is equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 let's substitute x is 2 so 2 square minus 2 into 2 plus 7 so 2 square is 4 minus 4 plus 7 that means we will be cancelling plus 4 and minus 4 we will be getting only 7 we have got the points 2 and 7 then we need to find the equation of the tangent all the required materials are there with us point is there slope is there slope is 2 by using the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 we can find out the equation so y minus y1 here y1 is 7 y minus 7 is equal to m m is 2 into x minus x1 x1 is 2 then y minus 7 is equal to remove the bracket 2 into x is 2x 2 into 2 is 4 then bring this 2x to the left side that means y minus 2x is equal to there is minus 7 and this minus 4 comes to the left side it comes as plus 4 right side make it 0 that means y minus 2x minus 7 plus 4 is equal to 0 that means y minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 this is the equation hence the required equation of the tangent is y minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 we shall discuss the second part find the equation of the tangent line to the curve y is equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 which is perpendicular to the line 5y minus 15x is equal to 30. so far let's make a rough plan algorithm this is the curve if you find out the derivative of the curve you will get the equation of the tangent sorry the slope of the tangent this is a curve if you find out its derivative you will get the slope of the tangent and here there is a line is given if you make it in the form y is equal to mx plus c you will be getting the slope of the line remember here along with y there is 5 so calculation will be a little lengthier from here you will calculate m the slope and since these two lines one is a tangent another one is a line these two are perpendicular their product of the slopes will be minus 1 by using that relation we will be calculating the value of x once you get x substitute in this equation you will be getting the value of y so the point we have got in point slope form x1 y1 then we need only m m means slope of the tangent again by using the same formula product of the slopes will be minus 1 by using that we will be calculating the slope of the tangent then both the things are there m and x1 y1 both we have got then by substituting it and when you arrange it, it in the equation you will be getting the required equation of the tangent so let's start y is equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 that is the equation of the curve differentiate that means dy by dx is equal to derivative of x square derivative of x square is 2x minus 2 is a constant derivative of x is 1 so minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 derivative of 7 is 0 no need to write then slope of the line that is the next task we have to find out we have to make it in the form y is equal to mx plus c for that first of all 5y we keep on side and the remaining terms we can bring to the right side that is 5y is equal to minus 15x bring to the right side plus 15x plus 13. y is equal to mx plus c means here only y we need 5 we don't want bring to the right side means 1 by 5 will be coming y is equal to 1 by 5 into 15x plus 13 remove the bracket that is y is equal to 1 into 15 that is 15 by 5 into x plus 1 into 13 13 divided by 5. 5 and 15 we can cancel 3 times y is equal to 3x plus 13 by 5 now it is in the form y is equal to mx plus c what is m coefficient of x that is 3 so comparing with y is equal to mx plus c slope we have got 3 next as before the relation we can take given tangent is perpendicular to 5y minus 15x is equal to 13 their slope of the tangent and the slope of the line the product of their slopes will be minus 1 slope of the tangent that is dy by dx slope of the line that is 3 so dy by dx into 3 is equal to minus 1 
and substitute dy by dx that is 2x minus 2. So 2x minus 2 is equal to minus 1 by 3. From here x we need that means minus 2 we can bring to the right side 2x is equal to minus 1 by 3 plus 2. So 2x is equal to 3 into 2 6 6 minus 1 is 5 so 5 by 3. 2 we can bring to the right side come to the denominator 3 into 2 6 will be coming so x is equal to 5 by 6 x we have got if you want to get the value of y just substitute here the value of x finding y when x is equal to 5 by 6 y is equal to x square minus 2x plus 7 is our equation substitute x is 5 by 6 so 5 by 6 the whole square minus 2 into x x is 5 by 6 plus 7 then 5 square is 25 6 square is 36 so 25 by 36 minus 2 into 5 is 10 divided by 6 plus 7. Here common LCM we have to take 36. Calculation I am not showing just to do it roughly on your the right side of your book. So 36 if you take common LCM numerator you will be getting as 217. 217 by 36. Then the point we have got x value 5 by 6 y value 217 by 36. So point we have got now the slope of the tangent we have to get then that if directly we can calculate from here slope of the tangent slope of the tangent means from here dy by dx that is slope of the tangent dy by dx how do we get dy by dx is equal to take this 3 to the right side that means product coming to the right side means division that is minus 1 by 3 we have got so now both the things we have got the point is 5 by 6 217 by 36 and the slope is minus 1 by 3. So the balance we will be discussing in the next slide. Now we will find out the equation. So equation of the tangent passing through 5 by 6 217 by 36. This is the point and the slope also we have calculated minus 1 by 3. So point slope form we know y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Here x1 y1 is these two and the slope m is minus 1 by 3. Let's substitute y minus y1 y1 is 217 by 36 is equal to m m is minus 1 by 3 into x minus x1 substitution is over now rest all calculation only so here 36 if you take common lcm 36 into y is 36y minus 217 by 36 is equal to minus 1 by 3 into x minus 5 by 6 then 36y minus 217 is equal to this 36 we can bring to the right side 36 into minus 1 that is minus 36 denominator there is a 3 into x minus 5 by 6 36y minus 217 is equal to 36 and 3 if you cancel you will be getting 12 so minus 12 into x minus 5 by 6 36y minus 217 is equal to remove the bracket minus 12 into x is minus 12x minus into minus plus 12 into 5 by 6 then 6 and 12 also we can cancel two times. So 36y minus 217 is equal to minus 12x. Here 6 and 12 we cancel two times. So 2 into 5 is 10. Then 36y. Then this minus 12x we can bring to the left side. That is plus 12x. That is minus 217. This plus 10 come to the left side. It comes as minus 10 is equal to 0. That is 36y plus 12x. Minus 217 minus 10 addition that is minus 227 is equal to 0. So this is the required equation. Move on to question number 16. Show that the tangents to the curve y is equal to 7x cube plus 11 at the points where x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 2 are parallel. Let's go through the question. Show that the tangents, tangents means more than 1, tangents to the curve y is equal to 7x cube plus 11. This is the curve. And the tangents are drawn on this curve at these points x is equal to 2 there is one tangent x is equal to minus 2 there is another tangent and we have to prove that these two tangents are parallel we know that tangents means they are straight lines and the two straight lines parallel means quite simply we can prove that their uh, slopes are equal means we have to find out the slope of the tangent at x is equal to 2 that means dy by dx at x is equal to 2 is the slope of the tangent at x is equal to 2 and again dy by dx at x is equal to minus 2 that means slope of the tangent at x is equal to minus 2 both will calculate and we should get both same answer this is our plan or algorithm so let's go with the, the curve y is equal to 7x cube plus 11 differentiating with respect to x dy by dx is equal to 7 is a constant derivative of x cube is 3x square so 7 into 3 is 21 x square so that is the derivative derivative constant is 0 so 21 x square is the derivative slope of the tangent at x is equal to 2 
means dy by dx at x is equal to 2. dy by dx at x is equal to 2 means replace this x put 2. So that is 21 into 2 square. So 21 into 4 that is 84. That is the slope of the tangent at x is equal to 2. Again slope of the tangent at x is equal to minus 2 means dy by dx at x is equal to minus 2. dy by dx at x is equal to minus 2 means take dy by dx replace x go to minus 2. That means 2, 21 into minus 2 the whole square. Minus 2 the whole square is plus 4. That is 21 into 4 again 84. You can see now here also slope we have got 84. Here also slope we have got 84. Means in both the cases slopes are same. Means we know that two lines are parallel means the slopes will be equal. Therefore we can write slope of the tangent at x is equal to 2 is equal to slope of tangent at x is equal to minus 2. Both the slopes are equal. Therefore, we can say that tangent at x is equal to 2 and tangent at x is equal to minus 2 are parallel. So here x is equal to minus 2 we have to write there that was missing. So x is equal to minus 2 that we can write okay here. This is equal to minus 2 are parallel. Hope it is clear. Move on to question number 17. Find the points on the curve y is equal to x cube at which the slope of the tangent is equal to the y coordinate of the point. Here there is a curve and we need to find a point on the curve at which the slope of the tangent is equal to y coordinate of that point. Slope of that particular tangent is equal to the y coordinate of the point. Here slope of the tangent we know we can easily calculate that if you find out the derivative we will be getting the slope of the tangent. The, if you find out the derivative at a particular point we will get the slope of the tangent at that particular point. So let's uh, start. Let us assume hk be the point on the curve. h comma k be the point on the curve. And here the y coordinate is k because this is the condition. In the condition this uh, y coordinate is mentioned. Okay. So let hk be the point on the curve and y is equal to x cube that is our curve. Slope of the tangent at hk is equal to y coordinate of hk. These are the conditions given to us. y is equal to x cube the equation of the curve is given and there is one more condition is also given. Slope of the tangent hk is equal to y coordinate of hk. y coordinate of hk is k. So since the slope of the tangent is mentioned here so dy by dx at hk that is the slope of the tangent at hk is equal to y coordinate that is k. Now let's start doing the calculation y is equal to x cube is our curve. Let's go for finding out the derivative dy by dx is equal to derivative of x cube is 3x square. The slope of the tangent at hk is dy by dx at hk. dy by dx at hk means just to simply replace x and uh, put the x value corresponding x value. So here corresponding x value is only h is there. So 3 into h square replace x and put its corresponding x value x value is here h so 3 h square will be there then when you just uh, equate it 3 h square is equal to here as per the condition given to us it is equal to the y coordinate of the point y coordinate of the point is k then also hk is on the curve y is equal to x cube so here it is mentioned here find the point on the curve y is equal to x cube means since we have taken hk as the point this hk is on the curve means these x and y coordinates h and k will satisfy this equation point h comma k must satisfy the equation of the curve that means replace y and put k and replace x and put h so k is equal to h cube we have got so now you can see here k is equal to h cube we have got and also previously we have got 3 h square is equal to k means now our equations 3 h square is equal to k and k is equal to h cube these two equations we are writing together and mark label it as uh, label it as equation number 1 and 2 now you can see uh, there uh, one side that is k here also one side is k that means 3 h square is equal to h cube 1 and 2 implies 3 h square is equal to h cube that means h cube minus 3 h square is equal to 0 bring 3 h square on the right side and form an equation so h square into h minus 3 take h common h square into h minus 3 is equal to 0 that means h square is equal to 0 and h is equal to 0 or else h minus 3 will be 0 that means h is equal to 3 so we have got two values for h then when h is equal to 0 
3 h square is equal to k that is our equation 3 h square is equal to k then we will find out the value of k corresponding value of k that means 3 into 0 is equal to k k is equal to 0 when h is equal to 0 we have got k also 0 then we have got h one more hence the point is 0 0 one point we have got then when h is equal to 3 we have one more value here for h that also we can take h is equal to 3 and corresponding k value we can find out same way 3 h square is equal to k is our equation then substitute h is equal to 3 so 3 into 3 square is equal to k then k is equal to 3 square is 9 9 into 3 is 27 so h and k is our point that means here h is 3 and k is 27 so hence the required point on the curves are 0 0 and 3 comma 27 next we shall discuss question number 18 the question is for the curve y is equal to 4x cube minus 2x power 5 find all the points at which the tangent passes through the origin here there is a curve is given to us and we are asked to find out all the points at which the tangent passes through the origin all the points on the curve the speciality of that point is if you draw the tangent through that particular point it will pass us through the origin so how many such points are there all those points we have to find out that is what the question so here first of all let's take like the previous question h comma k be the required point on the curve at which the tangent is to be taken so this is the point we are going to draw the tangent the property of that tangent is that will pass through the origin since h k lies on this curve so y is equal to 4x cube minus 2x power 5 it will satisfy the equation means you can, instead of x you can put h instead of y we can put k that means y value is k k is equal to 4 into x you can replace with h 4 h cube minus 2 h power 5 let it be equation number 1 so this is the preliminary step we have taken since we have taken h k as a point on the curve surely this point will satisfy the equation then we have replaced x and y and put h and k and we have formed a statement or an equation and we have labeled as equation number one then slope of the tangent we know that it is dy by dx so let's calculate the dy by dx y is equal to 4x cube minus 2x power 5 is our equation differentiating with respect to x means dy by dx is equal to 4 into 3 that is 12 x square 4 is a constant derivative of x cube is 3x square so 4 into 3 12 x square minus 2 is a constant x power 5 derivative is 5 x power 4 so 5 into 2 10 so 10 x power 4 is derivative then dy by dx at this point because we are going to draw the tangent at this point so since the tangent is taken from hk slope of the tangent at hk we have to calculate that is dy by dx at this point hq means replace x and put h that means 12 h square minus 10 h power 4 this is the slope of the tangent at this point h comma k so equation of the tangent at h comma k and having slope 12 h square minus 10 h power 4 is so now we are going to form the equation of the tangent by using points law form because we have the point we have taken or as per our assumption the point is h comma k and we have calculated the, the slope 12 h square minus 10 h power 4 by using these two we can calculate y minus y1 y1 is k is equal to m m is little bit lengthier here 12 h square minus 10 h power 4 into x minus x1 or x1 is h so this is the equation then given tangent is passing through the origin that is what the condition since it is passing through the origin means x and y value will be we can put 0 and 0 so putting x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 in the equation 0 minus k is equal to 12 h square minus 10 h power 4 into 0 minus h x and y replaced with zeros 0 minus k is minus k 12 h square minus 10 h power 4 0 minus h is minus h so minus k is equal to here 12 h square minus sorry 12 h square into minus h because this this minus h is common for both these two terms so uh, we can just uh, keep a bracket here that is better or else you will be having confusion there so you can keep a bracket here like this so this is the bracket so when you go with that minus 
k is equal to 12 h square into minus h that is minus 12 h cube then minus 10 h power 4 into minus h the minus into minus plus 10 h power 4 into h is 10 h power 5. Now our equations are we have two equations one is this one that is k is equal to uh, already we have taken first equation here k is equal to 4 x cube minus 2 h power 5 and the second equation is this one minus k is equal to minus 12 h cube plus 10 h power h power 5 equation number 192 so adding 192 we can eliminate this k left, left hand side k if you add these two so k minus k is equal to 4 x cube minus 2 h power h power 5 adding that means plus minus 12 h cube plus 10 h power 5 k minus k is 0 4 h cube minus here there is uh, as per the power if you take this is minus 12 h cube you can bring here then here it is minus 2 h power 5 same term here also is there 10 h power 5 we can bring together like terms that means 0 is equal to here 4 h cube minus 12 h cube 4 minus 12 is minus 8 minus 8 h cube minus 2 h power 5 plus 10 h power 5 10 minus 2 is 8 h power 5 then from here is to rearrange the equation or reverse the equation that's all means left hand right hand side we are changing that's all nothing else is done so from here 8 h cube here also 8 h cube is there common so we can take minus 8 h cube and the first term minus 8 h cube is completely outside that means one is balanced then here plus a was there since we have taken a minus one more minus is balanced because minus into minus is plus so minus h square is equal to zero here total power is five three is outside two balance is here that means 8 h cube is equal to 0 h is equal to 0 or else another product that is 1 minus h square is equal to 0 h square is equal to 1 h is equal to plus or minus 1 so here we have got three values for h actually one is 0 another one is plus 1 another one is minus 1 since we have got three values for h we can calculate the corresponding values for k as well because h k are our coordinates so when h is equal to 0 k is equal to 4 h cube minus 2 h power 5 this is our equation first equation so here when we substitute the value of h we will get the value of k that means h is 0 so 4 into 0 cube minus 2 into 0 power 5 k is equal to 0 minus 0 that is equal to 0 so h and k we have got the point is 0 comma 0 as per our assumption h comma k was our uh, point so 0 comma 0 is one point next there is uh, next value we can take 4 h that is plus 1 when h is equal to 1 again the equation is 4 h cube minus 2 h power 5 substitute h value that is k is equal to 4 into 1 cube minus 2 into 1 power 5 then k is equal to 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 is 2 so another set of point we have got h is 1 k is 2 the point is 1 comma 2 next is h is minus 1 the third point third value of h again same equation we can take h is equal to 4 s cube minus 2 h power 5 when you substitute it 4 into minus 1 the whole cube minus 2 into minus 1 the whole power 5 4 into minus 1 the whole power 3 is minus 1 itself here also minus 1 itself so minus 1 into 4 is minus 4 here minus 2 into sorry this uh, 2 into minus 2 will be coming this is a minus sign minus 1 the whole power 5, 5 is minus so this minus is outside this minus is coming along with the minus 2 that's all k is equal to minus 4 minus into minus plus 2 so minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 so this is the third point that is minus 1 comma minus 2 so the three set of points we have got can a required point on the curve are 0 0 1 2 and minus 1 comma minus 2 these are the three points Move on to question number 19. The question is find the points on the curve x square plus y square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 at which the tangents are parallel to the x axis. Here there is a curve is given x square plus y square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. And on this curve we are drawing a tangents at particular points. The property of that tangent is that tangents are parallel to the x axis. So, since the tangents are parallel to x-axis means we know the concept. Once two lines are parallel, their slopes will be equal. And here parallel to x-axis means the slope of x-axis is 0. So, slope of x-axis is 0, that concept we will be using here. First of all, let's find out the slope of this tangent on this curve. So, x square plus y square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. 
differentiate with respect to x because we are going to find out the slope of the tangent on the curve. So here x square derivative is 2x then y square derivative is 2y into dy by dx then here minus 2 into x derivative of x is 1 so minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 derivative of a constant is 0 equal to 0. From here 2y into dy by dx because we want dy by dx only the rest of the terms we can bring to the right side minus 2 coming to the right side plus 2 plus 2x coming to the right side minus 2x then dy by dx is equal to 2 minus 2x divided by 2y then dy by dx is equal to, you can see here there is a 2 common in the numerator so we can take 2 common from the numerator and cancel it with the denominator 2 so 1 minus x divided by y we will be getting as equation number 1 dy by dx we have got given that the tangent is parallel to the x-axis that is what our condition that means the slope of the tangent and the slope of x-axis will be equal because they are parallel slope of tangent is equal to slope of x-axis as we have discussed before slope of x-axis is zero that means slope of tangent we know that is dy by dx is equal to slope of x-axis is zero dy by dx is equal to 0 means dy by dx we have calculated that means 1 minus x by y is equal to 0 Let's cross multiply it 1 minus x is equal to 0 into y that means 1 minus x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 we have got one value x value we have got once you substitute this x into this given equation we will get the value of y so x square plus y square minus 2x minus 3 is the equation when you replace x with 1, it will be coming as 1 square plus y square minus 2 into 1 minus 3 is equal to 0. Then from here, y square we can calculate. So 1 square is 1 minus 2 minus 3. So minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. So y square minus 4 is equal to 0. y square is equal to 4. y is equal to plus or minus 2. Here we have got two sets of values. Plus 2 and minus 2. So the required points are 1 comma 2 and 1 comma minus 2. Next we shall discuss question number 20. Find the equation of the normal at the point a m square comma a m cube for the curve a y square is equal to x cube. So we are asked to find out the equation of the normal. There is a point is given to us a m square comma a m cube for the curve a y square is equal to x cube. So first of all what we have to do is this is our curve equation we have to find out dy by dx and dy by dx at this point means we will be getting the slope of the tangent at this point once the slope of the tangent we are getting means we will be able to find out the slope of the normal by using the formula minus one divided by minus one divided by slope of the tangent then once the slope of the normal and the point is given to you means we can form the equation by using the point normal form this is what we are going to do given equation is a y square is equal to x cube differentiating with respect to x a is a constant y square y square when you take the derivative 2y into dy by dx is equal to x cube derivative is 3x square from here dy by dx we can calculate 2y will bring to the uh, denominator 2ay so 3x square divided by 2ay slope of the tangent at a m square a m cube this is the point given to us means dy by dx at this point so that is what we are going to do dy by dx at this point means x and y we have to replace by using these two points so 3 into x x is a m square square is there outside so a m square the whole square y value is a m cube that means 2 a into a m cube that is equal to when you remove the bracket 3 a square m power 4 divided by 2 a into a is a square m cube and here a square and a square we can cancel there is a square term a square term we can cancel and m cube and m power 4 we can cancel and there will be only one balance that means we will be getting the answer as 3 by 2 only 1 m so 3 by 2 into m this is the slope of the tangent at this point actually we need to find out the slope of the normal because we are going to form the equation of the normal slope of the normal we can calculate minus 1 divided by slope of tangent we know the formula we are quite familiar with it now minus 1 divided by slope of the tangent slope of the tangent is 3 by 2m so minus 1 divided by 3 by 2m means just to take the reciprocal that's all minus to the means this denominator will go to the numerator this minus sign will be there this 2 will go to the numerator minus 2 divided by 3m then 
equation of the normal at a m square a m cube and having slope minus 2 by 3 m is because we, we are having all the required um, points here there is a point as well as the slope is there so by using point slope form we can find out the equation of the normal point slope form we know that y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 y minus y1 y1 is a m cube is equal to m into m is this one minus 2 divided by 3m into x minus x1 x1 is a m square this is what we have done then just we'll go for a little bit of calculation 3m we have to cross multiply here that means 3m into y minus a m cube is equal to right side will be minus 2 into x minus a m square then 3m into y 3m into a m cube plus into minus minus there is a constant m 3 is there then alphabetic order if you take a is there m into m cube that is m power 4 equal to minus 2 into x is minus 2x minus into minus plus 2 then alphabetic order a is there next is m square 2 a m square then just bring this x this side that is minus 2x comes as plus 2x and the next is y term y term is here it is there 3 m y minus 3 a m power 4 minus this plus comes this side means minus minus 2 a m square is equal to 0 so 2 x plus 3 m y minus in these two a is common m square also common so a m square if you take common a m square going out means here one m square and three balance so 3 3 m square then here there will be only two balance so 3 m square plus 2 is equal to 0 so the required equation of the normal is 2x plus 3my minus am square into 3m square plus 2 is equal to 0. When you arrange it, it will be looking good. There is x term, there is y term and the remaining considered as constant term. Dear students, today we have discussed question number 14 to 20 from exercise 6.3. Practice all the questions properly and while practicing, if you have any doubt, please mark it and keep. We will discuss it during the discussion session. Thank you for watching.